Hey, what's up? Day three. So I've been asking myself, what the hell am I going to talk about for the next 27 days? I don't know. We'll figure it out together. <laughs> but anyway, I'm going to start it off like I've been starting off talking about my day. My day was uneventful and very boring. But um, something did happen today and I wanted to talk about it. Um, I'm going to tell you something about myself you may not know. You already know that I am super forgetful and after yesterday's video diary post you know now that i am ultra sensitive and ultra moody it is what it is so today i'm gonna let you know that i am a hypochondriac like seriously um if you don't know what that means look it up hypochondriac but I'm dead ass. Like, I'm always dying from some shit. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I can't count how many times I planned out my own fucking funeral because I'm dying from some shit. Like, uh, a couple of months ago, I had freaking, according to Google, when I typed in my symptoms, I had breast cancer. So I went to the doctor, like, like legit, believing that I had freaking breast cancer. So she's like, and I mean... See, I'm doing it like this. She was rough. Like, she was digging all up in there. And I know you got to feel the masses and the this, but God damn it, they're sensitive. Like, be easy with my breast. So she's like, Arr. and from what I hear, the freaking mammogram is worse. And she tells me by 40, I have to start getting those. And I'm just praying that I grow a set of balls by then because shit, <laughs> I heard it sucks ass. So anyway, she's feeling, she's feeling roughly. And, um, you know, she's like, Nancy, you're good. Can you please stop Googling shit? And I'm like, all right, I'm going to try, doc. Even the other day, the other day I went to the ER. <laughs> and I'm like, you know, I got this, I got this, I got this. Because I come already equipped with my diagnosis. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, I got this, I got this, I got this. And she's like, where are you getting this from? I'm so I don't want to say it because <laughs> the other doctor told me to stay away. So I don't want to say it. And I'm like, Google. And he's like, yeah, don't do that. So clean bill of health, of course, as usual. But uh, yeah, that's what I do. I create shit in my fucking head. So today I diagnosed myself with yet another ailment. And I'll tell you why. Look at my nails. Pretty, 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 pretty. Got them done today nice yes um and he did my nails first of all he was like rough this is the first time i ever dealt with this dude he was like rough all twisting my shit and you know what i mean i thought the nigga was gonna break my damn arm off okay not really but yeah um and you know they put you under the hand dryer i'm done they put me under the hand dryer and i'm like got this uncontrollable urge to move now every part of me all of a sudden is itchy and you know what I mean my fingers feel like locked up and I want to just crack my I just have this urge to move and I fuck up my nail so I go to him and he's you know he's like come back in the chair and he's fixing it here comes the urge again to move so I, my hand just and I fucked up this nail and he's like so we gonna sit here all day fixing what I just did and I'm like okay Nancy you have to sit perfectly still now perfectly still because I'm like yo he already fixed two damn nails I don't want this nigga to charge me again you know what I'm saying so I'm like okay we're gonna sit perfectly still and I go under the hand dryer and it reminded me I don't know if anybody has ever seen that Cat Williams special where he's like his son runs around the house all the time. Pshum, 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 pshum. And um, he gave him the ADHD medication and he just sat there just staring off into space. So he goes up to the son and he's like, what are you thinking about? He's like running. And that's how I felt like I was still. But the only thing I could think about was moving. Like, I want to move. I want to move. I want to scratch. Like, I can't sit here. Like, I want to go to the car. I just want to drive. Like, I'm really spazzing. And I'm like, oh my God, Nancy, you have ADHD. <laughs> so I got ADHD now. 
but this is as far as I'm gonna take it. I'm not bringing it to no doctor because they're really gonna freaking think I'm crazy. <laughs> but I got ADHD. That's just between us. Don't tell nobody. But anyway, I had something planned out for today. I am going to, hopefully these apps don't suck. I downloaded a couple of apps. Um, I am going to play Truth. It's Truth or Dare, but I'm only doing the fucking Truth part. Sorry. Yep, start. Okay, let me tell you the question that I, I saw off of it that it asks today. Um, it was like, what is the first thing you do in the morning? And, yeah, the first thing I do in the morning is try to go to hell back to sleep. Yeah. Um, sometimes I do. Sometimes I have to get up so I get the hell up. But um, I I try to go back to sleep. Um, the second thing I'll do, I sleep with my phone right by my head. So I will check that. See if my uh, boyfriend or my best friend... Hit me up. I'm trying to set this crap up. I should have did it earlier, right? Oh, name. Okay, name. I don't know how to do this. Oh, okay, there we go. Okay, we put that. Uh, okay. So, the second thing I yeah I said the second thing I do is try um check my phone. And see if my boyfriend or my um, best friend hit me up. And then I pee. That is what I do. Okay. Truth. They asked me another question. I wanted to... <laughs> okay. They asked me about the worst date I've ever had. And I'm going to try to make this story short. It was a guy that I used to date a couple of years prior to me running into him and seeing him again. And, you know, he asked me out. So I'm like, okay, it's been a long time since I've been out on a date. So I got, you know, my homegirl did my hair. I got all dressed up. I had what these pair of boots, but I never wore them before. And I put them shits on it. I, I was, I, I mean, I was bad if I do say so myself. And he... You know, he's at the building, and I'm like, yo, come upstairs, you know what I'm saying? So he comes upstairs, and this nigga looks like a bum. <laughs> Maybe that's not the nice thing to say, right? But he's, like, wearing these these big-ass sweatpants with this big-ass sweatshirt and the little, you know, the pullover with the hoodie type thing and this little beanie hat, and um, I'm dressed up. So, I'm like, you know, you know, whatever. That's all materialistic thing. He's a good dude. You know what I mean? Let's go out and have a good time. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, I'm not vain like that. And I do believe in presentation, though. But, you know, I'm like, let's just go have a good time. He's here. Let's go. So, we get to the train station. And he's like, yo, I thought I was going to get my check today. But that shit didn't come in. I had enough on my Metro card to get me here. So, I'm going to need you to pay for my ride so I'm like oh shit honestly my crib and the train is like right there to each other I should have turned the hell around and got my kids from my friend that was watching them and just like hid underneath my fucking blanket <sighs> but I paid for him to get on the train and so we're in the middle of Manhattan freezing and we just go inside of McDonald's and he orders like this expensive ass sandwich and then has the nerve to ask for extra bacon. <laughs> extra fucking bacon. So anyway, um, that was my worst date. No, he did not pay me back for the fucking transportation that I paid for him. Or the damn burger with extra bacon. <laughs> that was my worst date. Okay, it said, if you had to get married tomorrow, who would you marry? You have to know the person, no celebrities. Um, Mr. Yuji Haravo. 
but we ain't getting married tomorrow. <laughs> okay. Next. Truth. What are your thoughts on romance and dating? Romance and dating. What are my thoughts? I can't answer this question because... I don't date. <laughs> romance is important. You know what I mean? Romance and, you know, making someone know without a doubt how you feel about them is very important. Uh, what kind of, uh, what is the one quality or feature you would like to change about yourself? Quality or feature I would like to change about myself. Um, hold on, let me X this out. Um, I think it would have to be the overly emotional because that song Zero to a Hundred, real quick. Should I live that? <laughs> I really do. I go zero to a hundred really quick. You know what I mean? And I, I would like to change that. I, that's something I am working on currently. Calming the fuck down. Um, if you won the lottery of a hundred million dollars, what would you do with your money? A hundred million dollars? Okay. First of all, I would pay my mother's house in Full. I would remodel and fix everything that needs to be fixed and upgraded in this house. Um, I would say I buy her a whip, but she don't drive. <laughs> I drive her everywhere. So I'd buy me a whip <laughs> to drive her in, um, you know what I mean? Uh, let me see. Definitely this house, my mother, my kids, my dad. Uh, I would not do anything too extravagant with it. Like on some serious, like I would, I would want a house. I would like a house uh, for myself. You know what I mean. But besides those things, or like rental properties, you know what I mean, where you could just make money off of the money that you got. I think that's a good look. Um, but. As for lifestyle changes, I don't think I would do that. You know what I mean? I don't think I would do that. And I got four kids that like shit, though. <laughs> so, but everybody would be good. Everybody would be happy. What the hell? Excuse me. <coughs> if you... Okay, if there was a giant explosion and two other people of the opposite sex, you can't be related to them, survive, who would you want them to be and why? This is the most easiest question ever. Two dudes that I would want to survive. Oh, oh, they can't be related to you. Okay, okay, okay. Because I was about to say my son has to be there, but okay. Two dudes. It would have to be my best friend, Miche, and my boyfriend, Yuji. Yeah, definitely. Have you ever gone skinny dipping? No. No, I haven't. Do you have any, do you got any secret talents? Do I? Have any secret talents? Ow. I don't know, I don't think so. Secret talents? Jordan will say. Tell, oh. No, I'm not going to do this. When did you have your first kiss? Oh, I'm thinking if I should talk. <laughs> uh, <laughs> okay, it's crazy. Um, 
<clears throat> me and my sister, you know, during summer break, you know, we're in the house and we're chilling and what's not. I think my aunt lived there at the time. And um, during the summer break, the people, the landlord and his family, you know what I mean, lived up, up top of us. And his grandkids used to come by during the summer vacation. And we all chilled. We had a backyard. So everybody come downstairs, go to the backyard and play with each other and all that. My sister was close to the brother's age and the boy was close to my age, you know. So, yeah, we kiss all the goddamn time. <laughs> like, we couldn't wait for summer to come so we could exercise our lips and kiss, 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 kiss. I was like stupid young though. Yeah. That was my first kiss. With the boys upstairs. <sighs> if you were marooned on an island with just one person, who would you want it to be? My mama. My mama. Yes. I would want it to be my mama. <laughs> she's awesome like just to talk to her and um like she could just make anything out of nothing at all that's a quality I would like to have too she could make anything out of nothing at all I know that together we'd be really really good oh what is the nastiest joke you ever played on someone nasty I don't know about nasty, but I'll tell you the, the recent joke I've played. It was this Christmas. Um, for the week, like for the weeks, you know, before Christmas, I just started walking around the house talking about, oh my God, I'm so freaking broke. Oh my, I had to pay this bill and that bill and this bill. I don't know how Christmas looking. Like I would just say that around the house. So now the, the Christmas tree is in the living room. I'll be naked as shit underneath her. Nothing, not nothing. You know what I'm saying? And I'm just like, yo, I won't be able to do it this year. When I got it, I got y'all. It is what it is. So uh, Christmas Eve. I'm like, yo, let's stay up, watch movies until Christmas Day, and then we'll go to sleep. So, um, we're watching movies, we're watching movies, all of us. And uh, I told my daughter, I said, yo, can you go in the car and look for something that I knew was not there? And she's like, it's not in the car. I'm like, you know what, if I go in the car and I find it, that's your ass. So I go in the car to go get all the presents. And I walked in the door like, ho, 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 Merry Christmas. And everybody's like, oh, my God, I can't believe it. You said you went. Well, 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 it, like, ah. it was cool. I love that surprise factor. It was awesome to surprise them like that. Okay, we're going to have to skip that. What is your worst fear? I was thinking about that being a question on this shit. What is your worst fear? Dying. I had always had this fear of death. Um, I don't know what happened. I, 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 I don't know how it started. But I remember I was like young. I was really young. And we slept on a bunk bed. I was on the top. And um, I don't know if I went to a funeral or something. I don't know what happened. But I now knew about death. And I laid in the bed one night. And I was like thinking about it. Just thinking about it. And I just laid perfectly still. Because I didn't have ADHD. <laughs> then I laid perfectly still. And I just closed my eyes. And I'm like, is this what death is? Is this what death's like? And after that, I became afraid to go to sleep. Um, then, before I go to sleep, you know, it's dark in the room and what's not. And I would just think about it, think about it, think about it. And it just got so much that I used to get off the bed and go in my mom's room crying like, I don't want to die. I don't want you to die. I don't want nobody to die. I just don't want the world to die. And 
she's like, you know, she would comfort me and, you know, I would fall asleep in her bed. And, I mean, of course it's not that severe because I'm older now. I know this is a natural part of life, but I still don't like it. Shit. I don't like it. Ew. But it's inevitable. You just asked me when was my first kiss. Oh. <laughs> ah, who was your first crush? No names. This boy that I used to go to church with back in the day. Back, back, way, way back, back, back in the day. I had a crush on him. I thought he was God's gift to the universe. Um... I talked to him, because me and my mom are really close, like, we were close forever, and I used to go to the room and talk about, it. like, did you see him today? Oh my god, he was amazing. So, anyway, we did go out, then he broke up with me and went out with another girl from the church that was actually my friend, then they broke up, then he asked me back out, then broke up with me again and went with another one of my friends and I, I had talked to him about it he's like yo I was young I was young fuck you <laughs> made me cry I was crying on my mom's shoulder and she was like it's okay baby I'm like, <laughs> have you what have you been mean to anybody in this room no I have not been mean to myself so that shit's crazy if you ever had a chance to be reborn as someone else who would it be and why I'm good being Nancy I mean shit I'm good being Nancy I like her Oh my god, it, this freaking app has like, you know, the little pop-up, um, you know what I'm talking about. What is the one thing you don't like about your best friend? That he's so far away, he lives in Philadelphia and I'm freaking in Georgia. Besides that, I love him to death. And then some. What is the one quality or feature you wish you could change about yourself? I could have swore I answered that already, right? What animal most resembles your personality? Whoa. What animal most represents my personality? (laughs) Um, you know why I'm going to say this because I saw them on Facebook them cute little polar bears you know what I mean because they're playful and you know bears are cool just the bear period like not the polar bear itself just bears Because we're cool and we're playful. And then other times we just want to hibernate. And I go through that too. What is your most embarrassing nickname? And how did you get it? Oh my god. Nancy Pansy. I think it was my second second or first grade teacher, Miss Lieberman. You know what I mean? And she used to call me Nancy Pansy all the time. And now I guess students started feeling it was okay to call me Nancy Pansy too. So yeah, that stuck with me for a while. But after a while they just forgot about it. They... God, Nancy Pansy bastard. If you woke up one day and found that you have become invisible, <laughs> uh, what is the first thing? You <laughs> what is the first thing you would do and why? Oh no, I added and why because our Lord knows it's not up there. I don't know why I did that. What is the first thing you would do if I was invisible? Crap, these questions make you think, and I'm like on a time limit right here. Okay, I'm invisible. I'm invisible. I would walk out this, well, I can't drive. (laughs) 
right? Because I'm invisible. Freaking oh, car driving itself on down Kirkland Road. Blah, 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 blah. Um, I don't know. Like, I need more time. What is invisible? Man, I get some money. <laughs> Let, let's say that off the bat. Um, have you ever cheated on your girlfriend or boyfriend? Wait, my present or past? Because I did do that in the past with my ex-boyfriend. It was wrong, I know, my bad. Oh crap. I was on a roll. Pressing this thing. What is the question? Oh, we did that already. Uh, did I skip that? Out of everyone. Okay, there's nobody else playing. It's just me. If you were bored again, what would you like to be? A damn polar bear. Except I hate the cold. Just any kind of bear. A koala bear. Uh, I'll skip that question. What singer do I identify with and why? Nobody. <laughs> Have you ever had a crush on your best friend? Yeah, I did. If you had only 24 hours left to live, what would you do? Oh my gosh. I would try to get everybody I love out here. Like, my boyfriend's in New York, like I said. My best friend's in Philadelphia. You know, I have a couple of friends out here, too. You know, I just want us to be gathered here together. I don't care what we do. Like, we could freaking watch movies or go bowling or, you know, I don't care where we go. I just want us to be together. And a whole lot of prayer. Oh my God, I got to repent from all my many, 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 many sins. A whole lot of prayer. What is the meanest things you have ever done? Okay, what are the meanest things I've done? Uh, I don't know if it's the meanest, but there's this lady in New York. She ended my eyebrows and I looked at it and I looked retarded. So I just honestly walked the fuck out. I was like, you know I'm not paying you, right? And I just walked the fuck out. When did you... Oh, God. First kiss. Say one good thing about each person. Nancy, you are a basic. What is your most irritating feature? My boot legs. They talking about baby story. I'm not going to tell my baby story because I was a baby. I don't remember. And we're going to end it with this. <laughs> it's actually two baby stories. Jessica's and Jennifer's. I'm going to go with Jennifer's first. Jennifer was crying a lot. She was a uh, uh, very... annoying baby. <laughs> I didn't want to say it like that. But she cried all the goddamn time. So I'm like, you know, I just had, you know, my, my older daughter, they're a year and a half apart, a year and a half apart. So I'm like, yo, is it colic? Because, you know, I heard everybody talking about colic and I think my, my oldest had colic for a while. It's like your, your tummy hurts and so what's got some gripe water. Nigga, I did not know that gripe water had alcohol in it. Why would you sell gripe water for a fucking baby with alcohol in it? So I did not read it and gave it to that goddamn baby. That baby slept for a day and a half. I was scared shitless. <laughs> it was like, like she slept, like she ate and then went right back to sleep. And I changed her and she's sleeping while I'm changing her. And I'm just like, she slept. So that was scary as fuck. <coughs> Jessica. I had gave her gripe water. This one didn't have alcohol in it because she was wide awake. But what it did do was give her diarrhea. And me and Sydney, like I said, we were, my mom has a backyard. And uh, me and Sydney was outside. It is a crib in my mom's house for Jessica. And um, 
Jessica's in the crib. We're in the backyard. We're like a couple of feet away from each other. And Jessica has ridiculous diarrhea. By the time we walk into the room, my little Puerto Rican light-skinned baby is covered in green shit. Just green shit. Oh my God, I got to tell you Jamie's story. So we're at my house and um, we're at my house and I don't know where me and my baby father are at, but we're, I think we're in our room and the kids are in the living room watching TV and Jonathan comes out, little Jonathan, I think they're a year and a half apart also. Jonathan comes out and he's like, he comes into the room and he's like, mommy, Jamie eating Jamie doo-doo. So we, what? And we rush out there. So Jamie has a piece of shit in her hand and her father tries to grab it for her and she's getting angry. She's like, <laughs> It's so fucking disgusting. She's like fighting him for the piece of poop. This is my story. Today's day three. I'm done. Thank you for watching. Whoever in the world is watching. Bye.